Ah, an inventum video production. Yes. <laughs> Completely contrived, I have to admit. Um, just doing it to stay in practice and whatnot. I've been arguing the physox with the idiots. <laughs> just, yeah. I, you know, I don't know. I, I'm just, yeah, it's like I am sort of leaving the building in a sense where I'm just saying, wow, all these people are just so fucking stupid. And, and you're just, you know, and then you look at the politics stuff, or you look at whatever you look at, it's, this is all so ludicrous. People are ludicrously stupid. <sighs> yeah, I mean, so, you know, I'm just feeling very, um, superior, alien, um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is just, yeah, yeah, this is, this is, it's just ludicrous. Planet Earth has reached ludicrous speed. It is just ludicrous. So anyway, so speaking of ludicrous, I figure I might as well do an Andy video, what the fuck. His most recent hate video does the misogyny thing or something, a misandry and whatever, who the fuck cares about that? I mean, look, the, the problem between men and women are, is not going to be fixed by conversation or something. No, it just isn't. I mean, beyond just acknowledging the truth, men and women are different. <laughs> yeah, biologically, and because of the biological difference, the you know, little hormony things, uh, their brains work a little different, and uh, just the truth. And certainly, a lot of the crap of role playing is bullshit, you know. But you know, some of this stuff about you know men being focused on, uh, you know. And women being focused on yummy. Um, it's just the truth. You know, it's, it's just not the, you know, we're just different organisms. It's just, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, yeah, you can find some way to live with them or live without them. But, yeah. It's just. No point in letting hate to get in that, <laughs> into that subject. Just no point. But anyway, just very difficult. Life is stupid. I mentioned that this is a subject that's not really for the squeamish, and it's a subject that is pretty much um, almost guaranteed to get you sort of attacked, uh, because you are in a sense attacking the one of the canons of our civilization one. Yeah, when the, the the idea that there's shitty people and not shitty people. Well, <laughs> yeah, well, you know, good luck with that, asshole. Well, why don't you try perpetual motion machines next or, you know, uh, engines that run on water or something. Yeah, why don't, you, why don't you try that next? Okay, if you're just going to be a silly person. One of the pillars uh, upon which we've built our modern zeitgeist. Um, what a pile of grip. Now, now this is where he's just going to lie about what our pillar is. You know, our pillar is we like to just torture people for no point because we hate them. No. We, there's behavior that's just totally corrosive to uh, any kind of thing called efficiency. And you try to tell the, the fucking assholes who are just wasting our money, like the spammers, for example, just making us all pay an internet tax. Uh, you know, because we have to pay for all the security personnel and all this crap, so they're just taxing us. You know, and then poor people do the same thing and this and that. And you go down the list of all these things, they're just taxing our lives. Okay, our, the quality of our lives. They just tax it. And we say, stop doing that. So we put up a sign that says, stop, and they don't stop. So then every now and then we have to go find one of them, beat the shit out of them, and then maybe the other assholes will pay attention to the stop sign. But until we do that, that's just the way it is. It's just like we don't, like we have better things to do with our time and our penises than waste perfectly good time where we could be enjoying self-pleasuring ourselves to go beat up some jackass because he can't, he can't see the sign that says stop being an asshole. But this fucking douchebag is going to just turn that into, oh, you're just hating. No, no. I'm, I, we're hating waste, you cunt. And we're trying to do something actually practical to prevent it, stupid fuck.
Jeez, these morons just are so irritating. What is this little douchey bag crap on the wall? Oh, God. And one of those is our view of one of the most formative periods in Western, modern Western history, the Second World War and the aftermath. And I'm sort of challenging the view that um, it was just evil people who did... Um, no, nobody believes that. So well, you're not challenging anything. This is just such a false premise. He's challenging something. You're not challenging anything. I, I mean, everybody knows it's just psychology, and it went awry. It went amuck. It ran amuck. Period. Not all that complicated. They weren't all evil, horrible people. They were just people who got caught up in a system that said you do it this way or you don't do anything at all. You play by these rules. So they played by the rule. The rule was stupid. I mean right now you're you're a, you're advocate torturing animals. You know, a hundred years from now that's gonna be recognized as only something an imbecile would have done. Is to make some rationalization and say it's a food choice. I mean that's gonna be laughed at if there is a future by intelligent organisms they're gonna just laugh at that and say how could a human being be that fucking stupid I mean they can figure out toilet paper and all kinds of different things and they can't figure out that it's not a good idea to unnecessarily harm a sensitive creature gee that that was that was just too difficult they, they managed you know not to have shit in actually shit in their living room they figured out how to use the litter box but they couldn't figure out that it's not a good idea to unnecessarily torture sensitive air organisms. Gee, I mean, you're going to be a mockery, you, you stupid cunt. And that's all the Germans are. They're just sort of a mockery. That Oh, how could you fall for this stupid Jew horn thing, you silly, you know, you just silly, stupid fucks. Caused the Holocaust. It wasn't, it was, it was evil people victimizing good people. Uh, that's kind of the the way that it's. Yeah, whatever. So this is. Why don't you just call your your channel Pigeonholia, okay? Because all you do is create these false premises out of these stupid pigeonholy bullshit that all white people are racist, all this is that, every this is that. I mean, I, who isn't sick to shit of this bullshit? Of, of just this these these lazy people who can't sit there and you know rationally pick their arguments I mean there's a tiny percentage of people alive today who could possibly give a shit about any of this crap you jackass they all kind of vaguely recognize that the Holocaust was all a real big fat fucking mess and that 50 million people unnecessarily died in some horrifically sloppy awful way you know because some uh, a group of assholes thought they could do it better. And they didn't care how they got that done. It has come down to us. And I'm kind of challenging that. Uh, or I'm rather challenging the idea that there are good versus evil people simply by pointing out that... Yeah, you know, this is just so stupid, right? We know, that, you, know, you know, I can give you five million examples of some kind of behavior, and you're going to get... You're going to call it good versus evil when, again, every rational person, every every I've never met anybody except for a completely religious, insane person who sits there and thinks criminals are criminal because they're evil. No, they're profoundly and catastrophically stupid, asshole. It's good versus stupid, fuckhead. And you're one of the stupid, you stupid fuck. That kind of dynamic could end up leading to another holocaust. Um, blah, 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 blah. Like, that, like we already have a holocaust. Like, like, you know, the fact that we're all f fucking wage slaves to a peach a day or something isn't already enough of a fucking holocaust. 65 people have as much wealth as 3.7 billion. 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 A big giant hunk of the human race is eating garbage right now. Absolute, real, factual garbage.
you still have to be very careful when you get into this, um, when you get into this kind of a discussion, to be very circumspect and to think several moves oh, ahead. Oh, fuck you. I mean, think several moves ahead. <laughs> well, yeah, oh, I have to figure out what, well, what do I do if it gives, gives me that pigeonholing argument? Uh, let's see, what kind of distraction can I come up with to, maybe I'll fart in the video and yeah, that'll change the whole dynamic. Is that your strategy, shithead? Your strategy, fuck you. Head in terms of where you think this philosophy may take you. Uh, For example, oh here we go. Um, I mentioned otherizing. When otherizing, yeah, making a distinction between you know people that <laughs> smell nice and people who smell badly. Gee, let's not make any distinctions. Rapists, uh, whatever, good do-gooder. Yeah, same difference. You. In order to hate somebody, I think that a certain degree of otherization is necessary. Even though... <laughs> yeah, whatever. Again, the otherization based on what? Oh, yes, they, they behave entirely differently. Yeah, yeah, so I guess you should make a distinction. When human beings behave not like even baboons, but like fucking hyenas, yeah, I guess you should otherize them because they're basically not being what they could be. Their potential, their big, giant mammal brain is somehow not functioning properly. They're not living up to their, oh, the smart human thing. No, they're doing the dumb monkey thing. Monkeys are supposed to be even smarter than that. Monkeys are supposed to be smarter than fucking crocodiles. And some humans aren't any smarter than a fucking crocodile. Hmm? Hey? Uh, are you talking about me? Uh, are you... Are, 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 I hate this guy. I hate you because you are exactly what the human race doesn't need. All right, so move ahead. All ideas of tribe and nation, or not necessarily arguing against them, but trying to get people to rise above it. Or suggesting ways by which uh, yeah there's no way to rise above it okay I see a Christian I see stupid ignorant cunt and then I see the Christian with seven kids and I say holy fuck the future just got AIDS and then you even see it even more when you see a dumb Muslim there's just nothing good coming from the third world that's why it's called the third world because it failed and the failure is bleeding into the success and it's just going to turn it into failure and it's sickening and gross and disgusting that smart people are too stupid to say there's a difference between being smart like pooing in the toilet uh, and pooing in the street there's a difference. Could rise above it. And that philosophy being altered slightly to make him look like he was the precursor to the Third Reich. When you sort of say, well... Um, uh, really, I just could not care about this shit. Anyway, <laughs> I'll jump ahead a little more, see if it gets at all interesting. So you have to, I think, be careful when you're getting into these things. You have to be careful when you even begin to... What the fuck is that on the wall? Some kind of like giant cum stain or something? What the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. That's pretty fucking bizarre, fella. You really go at it, don't you? Discuss otherizing. Because a lot of the... When you try and trace it back to its source, a lot of subconscious otherization <laughs> takes place. I see this right. Um, uh, yeah, whatever. So, so I, I mean, you, know, you people really find like eleven uh, thumbs up, zero thumbs down. Um, really, I mean, people really find this somehow interesting that we somehow should think <clears throat> that there's no distinction between um, educated, and uneducated, um, knowledgeable, unknowledgeable, um, greedy, and um, reasonably decent. Selfish, unselfish, these are all the same things. No, they're not the same things. There's programs that run in people's heads, like video games even, or like a movie. And you have to admit, some movies suck. They're just stupid and ugly. 
And some movies are just beautiful and magnificent. It's just the truth. And you should vote for, advocate for, beautiful, smart movie. Not ugly, dirty, stinking, sucky, putrid, dumb movie. Car that works good, car that sucks. Door molding that's on the door, and door molding that's not on the door. Yeah. Crookedy door molding. Now, in, in the sort of debate that I am sort of more or less low level engaging with, with quote unquote anti natalist sort of people who sell it. Yeah, sure you are. <laughs> yeah, sure you're debating somewhere. I, I haven't seen that. I, all I've seen you is draw a silly mischaracterizations, not even understand the subject, you're so fucking stupid. Identify as such. There's an enormous tendency for each side in that debate to otherize the other. Oh, what? To otherize the other. Yeah, to recognize that your silly, selfish philosophy of what's in it for me is as dumb as a crocodile. And that human beings, having bigger brains and having gone through the whole process of you know, being able to control the use of their club, you know, not club everything to death and figure out all this stuff about being moderate and understanding, oh, I'm an emotional animal, I can't go insane, I gotta, gotta control those insane impulses, can't just fuck any bitch I want anytime I want, all kinds of little rules, and they figure that shit out where the dumb crocodiles, yeah, they can't figure any of that shit out, but they got a little fucking tiny compressed pee fucking goddamn brain. They're stupid motherfucking cement-headed, retarded Irish guys. Yeah. And decency wants to rise above that, you fucking dumb ass wipe fucking creepy slimy dinosaur ideology shit for brain fuck wit an enormous temptation that i myself am not immune to i try to stay immune to it but it's not easy yeah whatever <laughs> it's not easy it's a lot easier than uh torture i could take a ton of torture but you know i can't moderate my impulse to otherize the others i mean how can you know you're just sitting here saying okay this is how the world crumbles into shit. This is why physics can't figure out reality. All these smart people can't figure out anything. Is it because you, you people have obviously been drinking lead paint or something? The, oh, it's silly to make distinctions between things that are different. Is that like bent space or something? That's one of the reasons why I've kept my distance from the more vocal of them, because I don't want to get into a situation in which I'm doing nothing but, you know, we're just doing nothing but punching each other. <clears throat> yeah, well, you can't punch worse shit, you girly man. You, oh, I'm riding the tiger, I'm a tough guy, I can take torture, but I can't control my lust for cheese. I gotta have some fucking cheese, man. Gotta have it, gotta have it. <laughs> You're a fucking duplicitous hypocrite. You play this stupid Indian game, you know, when everybody knows Indian philosophy is really about suppressing all of this worldly attachment shit. That's the whole fucking game. And yet you pretend the game is, no, endorse the worldly attachment shit and just pretend you don't feel pain. <sighs> yeah, that's what it's really about. What's in it for me? Because <laughs> I don't feel anything except lust. Otherizing each other. Um, I sure as fuck don't feel anybody else's pain. It doesn't bother me at all. I could walk past a thousand people with their arms cut off. It ain't going to bother me any. Yeah. I didn't feel a thing. Fuck you. But I think that it, it, this, I, this tendency to otherize is something that has to be examined um and it has to be examined exhaustively and yeah well, well again yeah like we the human race hasn't already done that right we've been through all of these little phases of our our development we've seen rome crumble we've seen the mighty fall we've seen all of these 
these catch 22s of of success and failure and the whole uh, you know <laughs> the ecstasy of the agony and the ecstasy you know the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat i mean i grew up with sports illustrated you know every sunday you got that wonderful little film of you know triumph and complete and colossal failure yeah we get it i think I mean, most people with a brain get it but they still understand well, that's the dilemma though we're these silly stupid competitive monkeys and we have this big brain, and the problem is the big brain figures out, oh, the only game in town is checkers. There's nothing for a big brain to do here. This really is just find a hole and stick your dick in it. There's just nothing else to do here. This is a stupid fucking game. Clean the checkers. <laughs> so that's all. Yes, we clean the checkers. We polish the checkers. We fuck the checkers, clean the checkers, polish the checkers. Nothing. There's nothing to do here. But silly, stupid, idiotic, chase your fucking silly, idiotic, projected desire. Blah, 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 blah. Ugh. They're more or less constantly in real time and more or less make it as almost a way of thinking to analyze is otherization taking place in here am i uh, again, yeah i just don't you know again this presumption that somehow it's wrong to recognize that you have a failed program that your brain is full of shit okay it's not just that it's windows 95 and it sucks it's it's full of viruses of what's in it for me I am as dumb as a crocodile. I can't figure out how to be something other than a dumb... They they grow to me up chewing on drumsticks. I can't figure out how to eat anything else. Yeah, I otherize that because it's a fucking drooling retard, you fucking idiot. Your program sucks. Otherizing somebody else. I don't think that it's something that you can say this was a bad idea that it's time to jettison. I think that otherizing might actually take place all the time, in real time, in all of our minds. In all of our minds, we are otherizing. So again, look, if I was otherizing by saying, Ooh, he has a big nose. I don't like big noses. Ooh, he has a funny haircut. I don't, I don't like, I don't like recessive hairs. Ew. If that was otherizing based on shit like that, then you would have an argument about this otherizing crap, right? But that's not what we're otherizing about. We're otherizing about fundamental performance issues. <sighs> Torture. Torture is here in the balance of the otherizing. Shall we have more torture? Your plan. Shall we have less torture? My plan. Yes, less torture. When we try and systematize things, that's one of the sort of uh, pratfalls of categorizing things. We Arist Aristotelian thinking. Oh, what a big, horrible thing to do. Yes, ooh, don't make any categories. This is coming from an asshole, again, like who, who, what, what, what of you lying scum who watches this asshole's videos could sit there and not admit he just pigeonholes everything. So... You know, it's just so ironic for him to talk about categorizing and the dangers of it when he routinely pigeonholes. Routinely. I mean, almost every fucking sentence is some sort of presumptuous pigeonholing of a class. You categorize... Them. I mean, how many times does he talk about being Irish? How many times has he talked about being Catholic? I mean, he's just constantly obsessed with these silly little markers that it somehow establish who and what something is that have so little to do with somebody's capacity to say who the fuck cares if I'm Irish I don't give a fuck what the fuck does that mean to make sense out of them but those categories are clumsy 
those categories when you apply them to people and lead to things like Auschwitz. Yeah, well, whatever. Again, that's exactly the point. Where I think most of these people, even these assholes who thumb up this crap, they might, well, they're probably crocodiles. There's no point. But, I mean, they might be able to make the distinction between silly bigotries, silly matters of subjective taste, and things that really matter, like you're going to torture more human beings, or you're going to torture more animals, or you're going to you're going to shit on the future. You're going to enslave them. You're going to create billions of more people who can be catastrophically poorer than the 65 richest people in the world. Yeah, fuck you, you menace. One form or another. You, get, you might think that it's pretty harmless if the Roma decide that the gajos are... Oh, I don't want to do this Roma Gajo thing, so we'll move up a little bit more. Because, frankly, you're insulting my intelligence by, by implying I don't know what bigotry is, jerk. <laughs> I mean, really. I, oh, yeah, I don't know what a bigotry is, a subjective bigotry. I don't know the difference between an irrational evaluation and a bigotry. I can't possibly make a distinction between a car that has certain performance standards, you know, it uses a certain amount of fuel and it does this and it has certain, you know, uh, uh, the plastic is of a certain grade. No, it just has to be what color is it and is it a pretty shape? Fuck you. Fuck you, this, this patronizing tripe. That it may be actually part and parcel of being human, but we'd better be aware of where it might lead us. Um, it's harmless. Uh, again, so he's associated rational distinctions, like the difference between somebody who advocates for torturing animals and somebody who doesn't, and gross bigotry where you just say, I don't like black skin. It looks ugly to me. enough for me to see myself say as if I choose to see myself this way as an Irishman <laughs> I stepped right in that one did he did I predict it or what I mean every fucking video Irish Catholic Irish Catholic I'm an Irish Catholic I'm an Irish Catholic it's like a genetic disorder I can't possibly overcome that with an idea or thought because I'm an Irish Catholic and I'll, over be, I'll always be an Irish Catholic it's like having a small penis. I'll just never be able to get over it. Oh, yeah, I have a small penis, and I'm Irish, and I'm Catholic. It's all the same thing. Uh, provided I don't think that something ought to be done about the fact that we Irish are the best people. Um, you know, it's just something that I guess, in some strange way, I like to self-identify as. But it, it doesn't mean anything in terms of... <laughs> well, it obviously means something, okay? Like, say, see, identifying as a vegetarian means something, but you're basically saying, ooh, you torture animals, you scummy piece of shit. But saying you're Irish... Well, what? I'm... Benishkanash. I'm... Fenterurga. Can you pronounce that? Fenterurga. Funda Erga. Okay? Does that matter to you? Are you pleased to know? <laughs> Fuck you. Silly fucking person. What value I place on myself or what value I place on anyone. Well, obviously you place some kind of silly goddamn idiotic thing in your brain where you say, this is an important distinction I must make that I am... Irishly separate from you others. <laughs> yeah. What else? Um, that could happen, though, because I've met Irish Canadians who think that the Irish are the ones who are the best at living this thing called life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Drunk. <laughs> it's hilarious. Best at living in the fake reality created by distilled spirits. Um, Best at escapism and wife beating. <laughs> yeah, wow. Give that man a trophy. I'm, you know, if you're an Irish Canadian or an Irish American or even an Irish. Oh fuck! I mean, just fuck. 
I mean, it'd be nice if they were American Irishmen or something rather than this Irish American. That's like, fuck, you really can't get over it at all, can you? And not, 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 not. <laughs> yeah. They are, uh, two Irishmen, they walk into a bar. N throw up. <laughs> Hilarious. Third period, you may have met people like this in your life. Um, <clears throat> but again, in small doses, it's harmless. But when I decide that I'm going to set off a bomb in Canary Wharf, it becomes less harmless. <laughs> That's not about being Irish, okay? It's called politics, okay? Some people take their politics really, really seriously. Some people don't. <sighs> but yeah, revolutions are a little bit messy. That's true. You know, especially when most of the country doesn't really want to be bothered. <laughs> yeah. So it gets a little bit sloppy then. But what does that have to do with being Irish? It really doesn't have anything to do with it. Plus, doesn't it? Um, it leads to things like Nationalism. Nationalism. Oh, things like overemphasizing and facial dystopia, where you have to make all of your points with little fucking winky dinkies and snarky darkies. And... <coughs> For emphasis, because you know you have to have enough uh, personality to fool all of the people all of the time. Can't do that with just some regular performance features. You have to use everything you have to make them understand that this is important. Like the fate of the Enterprise. Yes, he does sound a little like Captain Kirk, doesn't he? Which we know is, well, it can be a pretty toxic thing. Um, so really, when you otherize when you hate you otherize you you <laughs> no when you otherize you you figure out whether it's worth hating the other is this other significantly a problem so you could have like heroin addicts and you say oh well they're a bit of a problem they don't do a goddamn thing but then you could say well who cares let them have heroin and die fuck them not a big problem i don't need to hate them i'll just say oh i'm sorry you're a sick miserable bastard but jesus christ will you just hurry up and die and get out of the way because you just you just basically suck. You're useless. Right? Um, and then there's others who are like shoplifting or something and you have to pay more for your fucking goddamn oranges at the grocery store because these motherfuckers are stealing shit. Now those others probably need a good fucking goddamn boot up their fucking asses. And I'm all for it. Teach the little bastards a lesson. Especially the ones who might be thinking about doing it. And then might say, oh, but wait a minute, I don't want to boot up my ass. Need to otherize in order to hate. Um, a certain degree of otherization, I guess, is harmless enough. Um, but again, you've got to sort of keep on top of it. <laughs> Whatever this means. So yeah, again, you know, for what purpose do I have to do any of that? I, I, yeah, all you have to do is is check, put in check, what you know to be just some subjective resentment or something. Like, you know, ooh, they're so good at everything, and, I, and so you want them to fail because they're so good at something. Or some kind of little petty Weasley crap. And so you, you know, you end up being unfair because you just have a little petty problem. Yeah, so those are the kind of things you look for. Your little bigotries and your little pettinesses and you know, your little impulses to key cars or something yeah and you control that but that's not really the subject here really right you're talking big picture civilizations you're talking big picture subjects like the holocaust for fuck's sake and so i guess you should put that in some sort of perspective and recognize that this sort of is about what it takes to get us from where we are to some better future and you're just not going to get there by saying Everybody's the same, and everything's the same, and nothing makes any difference. And de -de 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 -de. That, that ain't gonna goddamn get the job done. I mean, you know, cliche, but shit, you gotta break some fucking goddamn eggs, okay, to make a good omelet. Not that I'd ever do that. 
Never liked eggs much, especially omeletized ones. Ew. Ew. The metaphor of the charioteer with his reins and all his different horses comes to mind here. I mentioned how hate may be a normal part of being a human being, but we better be in control or on top of our hate. I don't even know. He's so used that as a metaphor. <laughs> Charioteers. I mean, what do we think? You can come up with something a little more, a little tiny bit closer to the 21st century and stuff. George Jetsonese kind of metaphor or something, right? I mean, I, I just don't feel the chariot or master whipper guy in my blood. It just doesn't, just don't sense any relationship to that. You just stay on top of it. We may not be able to eradicate. Still talking about what you're on top of, huh, buddy? <laughs> See, we have a one-track mind, don't you? Hate otherization? Well, we have to learn to manage it, I suppose. Oh, yeah, well, it's just vague enough to be totally useless. Thank you very much. Bigotry be bad. There. Are we done with your video now? Could you just put up a little thing that says, Bigotry be bad. Only other rise the stupid cunts. How about saying that? Make sure they're stupid cunts before you call them a stupid fucking cunt. Yeah. There. Okay. Have I satisfied the standard? <sighs> Who did you otherize today? Yeah, you can make it. You can make it like a public service now. Who did you otherize today? Who otherize? That sounds kind of kinky. But anyway, fuck it. Who cares? I hate you. So that's the only part of this video that makes any sense to me. Is you have the word hate and it's next to your name. So I get that. And I probably hate you six times more than I hate uh, the movie Gravity. Six times more. All right, so that's enough. Till next time. That's enough, right?